Hi, I'm Jonathan Valencia, a consultant with Humatech at Velocity HS Solution. And today I'm here with Chad from Right Height, and we'll be discussing some ergonomic aspects of the, some loading dock equipment. So, Chad, can you tell us a brief history of how Right Height came to be and how they came up with the idea for the loading uh, for the dock levelers? Sure. Um, right Height's a, a family owned business founded in 1965, and for many, many years, dock levelers were our key business. Um, we now have many other products that we can help you around the facility, but the dock leveler is really where we got our start. And if you think about a dock leveler, it's a bridge, and it gets you from inside of a building out to that trailer. And bridges need to be both strong and flexible, and a lot of companies do a great job of building that strong bridge um, with a little bit of flexibility. Right Height really takes pride in the fact that we build both a strong and a flexible bridge, which really helps when we're talking ergonomics at the loading dock. Yeah. And that's, that's one thing I hear quite a bit when I'm on site from forklift drivers, is that transition between the dock and the trailer, they get a, that big jarring impact on the loading docks. So can you tell us a little bit more about how right height mitigates that risk? Sure. We've approached that, um, the bump bump as we call it, when the forklift transitions into the trailer, uh, several different ways. Um, we've designed a special rear hinge that has only an eighth inch gap at the back of the leveler, so as you're transitioning from the concrete onto the leveler itself, it's a very small gap and it's always constant. So uh, you don't have the large bump that you would experience with some other designs. Towards the front of the leveler, we've built in um, a constant rate, or excuse me, a, a uh, two-point crown control, mm -hmm. which helps to keep the front of the leveler a little bit flatter without um, harming the integrity of that front header, which flattens it out a little bit and makes it a little easier. And then we've also optimized our lip chamfer, and the chamfer is the part of the lip that transitions from the thickness of the lip down to the trailer bed. And we've optimized that to make it, again, a smooth transition from start to finish. The last part of that smooth transition story from a right height perspective would be a trailer restraint. Uh, we call it the stabilizing trailer restraint. Mm -hmm. If you think about going in and out of a trailer with a 12,000-pound forklift and a 5,000-pound load, you drive that onto that trailer, it has quite a bit of drop to it sometimes up to 10 inches of drop, which can really be harmful to the person's body yeah. as that drop uh, hits their spine and, and neck and everything. Right Height uses a stabilizing restraint that uses uh, hydraulic cylinders to lock that restraint in place, so we minimize that drop to about one to two inches, which again is just much easier on the human body. Machado, you mentioned the bridges need to be both strong and flexible. Can you tell us a little bit more about how Right Height integrates that flexibility into their uh, loading docks? Absolutely. Um, all dock levelers uh, flex about four inches, mm -hmm. and they have to be designed that way because a truck doesn't always back in when it's level. A unique thing that Right Height does is our dock levelers flex four inches underneath their own weight. So typically what happens is a truck backs in, it's mm -hmm. on level, dock leveler is put in position, and the dock leveler then will snug itself to the trailer bed only with the weight of the forklift on the leveler. Mm -hmm. That works really well when you're going into the leveler. But as soon as you're, or excuse me, into the trailer, mm -hmm. as soon as you're into the trailer, now that leveler pops back up, right. and now you've got a tremendous speed bump coming back out, and you're usually turned around, so it's hard on your back and your neck as you hit that bump. Right Heights leveler flexes under its own weight, so we maintain contact with the trailer bed throughout the entire loading process. It's much easier on the body that way. Awesome. Very good. So I know Right Height offers three different types of uh, dock levelers. You have your hydraulic, you have your pneumatic, and you have your mechanical. Can you tell us a little bit more about the difference between the three and when you recommend one over the other to a client? Sure. The, the shell of the unit for the three is basically the same. It's just how you're going to operate it. You can use springs, which is the mechanical version. Those mm -hmm. springs are always under tension, which means that leveler is always working. It has a lot of mechanical parts. So your maintenance is going to be higher there. Uh, if you step up from that, you go to a pneumatic leveler, which has mechanical lip linkage but then it has an air bladder of some sort underneath that acts as the power source. So you do need electricity for that, but because you don't have mechanical springs raising the leveler, you do lower your maintenance costs a little bit, um, increasing the lifetime ownership cost, or it, decreasing the lifetime ownership cost, excuse me. The last would be hydraulic, which has a hydraulic lip cylinder, it has a hydraulic main lifting cylinder, fewer moving parts, 
Um, it's just easier on the level or it's not working all the time. It's only working when you're pushing that button. So definitely the longest lifetime ownership cost um, as well as uh, the, uh, lower maintenance costs throughout the life of the leveler. Awesome. That's great to hear. So um, I know you guys offer other equipment from a safety and health perspective. Can you briefly touch on any of those? Sure. Um, as I mentioned, Wright Height uh, manufactures loading dock industrial door equipment, so we're into the high-speed door business. We can help with HVLS fans. Um, and uh, exciting thing for us being a small, starting out as a small family-owned business, is we're a global company. We have manufacturing facilities on four continents, and we have a representative network that stretches almost every corner of the globe. So it doesn't matter where a client is, we can get somebody there, and we're probably going to manufacture that product right in their backyard. All right. Thank you, Chad, for being with us here today. Really appreciate your time and, exp and explaining the dock levelers and your the solutions that Riot provides. Thanks for having me. It was my pleasure. Absolutely. We had a lot of fun today. Again, my name is Jonathan Valencia, and we'll see you next time.